Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, to another episode of the Blade SMP. I'm down here at the former Team Bubblegum Spider Farm. It's actually in their strip mine. It's at Y level 11. <laughs> Very rare for a dungeon to be down this low, but yeah. I'm collecting some wool for today's project, so I need 34 wool. Um, eventually I'm going to dye them, and then I'm going to make some hardened clay. Some brown hardened clay. And we're going to build a cow shop. So, yeah, I guess I'll meet you guys when I'm ready with all the materials. Alright guys, so I'm here at the future location of our cow shop. Um, so I have the pixel art on my phone for a cow. And I need to scroll through my pictures. Alright, so... I have the right amount of wool and the right amount of clay. I'm pretty sure about the clay. Um, but I need to delete this line. Okay, so we're going to go brown. And let me get these in my hotbar real quick. Then we'll go white. Gray, 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 gray. White. And then brown. So this is just the start of what is soon to be a pixelated cow. And then uh, brown, white, black, gray, gray, black, white, and another brown, and then brown, brown. And then white white, 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 and then brown, brown, and then the next layer is just all brown. Okay, oops, I'm getting a lot of lag here. It's probably because of my uh, render distance. I have a stupid old laptop that I use, and yeah, can't handle a lot of uh, stuff going on. So here we have black, and then, okay, I, I think I made this white, and then brown, and then another gray, brown, brown, white, and then this is our last black, and okay, so then we go to white, white, brown, gray, gray, brown, and then these are our last two whites, here we go, brown, 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 gray, 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 brown, brown, and then here we go, brown, I can just do it like this, gray, 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 and then brown, 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 I hope this, is, I hope this looks like a cow. Yeah, that's not bad, looks pretty much like a cow. Alright, so that's going to be the inside, and then I add another wall over here, and then we need to add just a plain old 8 by area of brown stained clay on the back. All right, and then for the other wall, uh, I don't know if I can reach the top. I'll... No. Ah! Good enough. <laughs> it's so dark I can't even see anything. Um, yeah, that's good enough. So we're going to leave a little... Shut up, son of a village. No, just get out of my life. Okay, good. Um, we're going to put two doors here, and this is going to be an entrance. There's going to be like a chest for steak and then leather, and then there's going to be a chest for payments. And hold on. I need to get up here. You know, we're fancy. We have a silk touch shovel to waste. We're going to use grass blocks to get up here. Um, why the heck not? And then the roof is going to be cobblestone. Just like this. Yeah, screw that piece of cobblestone. Alright. So that's like... Oh. Alright, that's good. So this is the cow shop. And yeah, that's basically it. So... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some doors and some chests, and we're going to fill in the interior, especially light this place up. So yeah, let's go do that. And I'm back. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and finish up the interior of this place. Torches on the walls. I think that's is that enough to light up this place. Should be. All right, so uh, I think what's left now is the doors. chest, so we'll put a trap chest in the middle, and then two double chests on the side. This will be payments. I really don't need a double chest for payments, but it just makes it look cooler because everything's a double chest here. So we'll put uh, um, 
leather. Make it all nice and fancy. And we'll put 64 for one diamond. And then we'll put just the same thing over here. Same price and everything. Uh, 64 for one diamond. And I don't think I have a 64 leather. I have like a couple stacks of steak already. But I still haven't built my cow breeder. So I don't think this should be open yet. I don't know. It'll be open for steak, not for leather. But that's it for that place. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys what we're going to do next. So if you guys remember in the last episode, I announced I was going on vacation, which I am obviously back from. But I challenged the whole server to come and prank me, and Captain Crispy is the only one that had the guts to. Um, I can kind of see it now. It's a dislike button. Um, but the backstory behind this is sometimes he does... <laughs> he, he dislikes my videos to annoy the crap out of me. So, yeah, I like, we'll be on Skype and we'll just dislike all my videos. And, yeah. <laughs> I'll throw a tantrum. It's, it's, it's pretty funny. But other than that, uh, I've done some renovations. Uh, in fact, let me uh, turn down my render distance again. This is crazy how horrible my computer is. All right, so in here I kind of switched up the storage system. So I don't have everything organized up here yet, or down here, so, excuse me. But up here on the second level is going to be storage for all the um, enchanted things that we have. But I haven't added the chest yet. So, yeah. And then up here are the only three. Actually, no, there's four. There's just ones in a different location. The only four. <laughs> I'm looking at three. I said four. Only four villagers that were actually, actually had good trades from the villager breeder. And the, the rest went into my iron golem farm, uh, which I will show you later. But I also did a trade with Captain Crispy. I gave him one inner chest and he gave me some stuff from the jungle he found. So I got cocoa beans and some jungle saplings. So that's where I keep that now. And, uh, and this is the other villager. Someone actually tried to move him and I caught them red handed. I still don't know who it is though. <laughs> uh, their trade is uh, a book and five emeralds for a silk touch book, which is amazing. Uh, but yeah, now for the Iron Golem Farm, it's actually just over here. It is the NIMS TV tutorial design. This is actually a shop under progress. It's actually pretty cool looking. I don't know what's going to be. Maybe a banner shop? I don't know. Um, some random stone here in the road. Oh, gosh. So this is mine. It's not community, but I might sell it, some iron at my shop. Um, but it's NIMS TV's design, and it's actually got a fair amount of iron. And basically, it has like a item filter thing. And so, wait, wait, what? It's only supposed to have one. It's weird. Okay. Does this have six? Yeah, that's weird. <clears throat> I still don't know. I, I, I still don't understand item filtering. <laughs> this is all uh, on a tutorial, but I think there should be one of each in this. Yeah, and then one of each in this, and there. They should both have four signs. And then nothing up here. All right, so everything's good now. Uh, but that's the Iron Golem farm, and yeah. That's 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 gonna add into our iron collection, which is actually quite large of a collection now. I actually want to turn this. You know, I, I tend to say actually a lot. Like I actually want to actually actually do this for actually actually sake. I don't know. It's, it's pretty stupid. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna turn this all into blocks, and I'll see you guys on. I guess what we're gonna do next after this. All right. So right across from our cow shop, which is looking great. I added a new part to HLM Mart. Potion catering. So people put their orders in here and I take care of them. I don't want to open the book because they put their real life names in there, but yeah. That's that. And the next thing is the gold farm. Alright guys, so I'm at the gold farm. 245.5 blocks into the sky of the nether. Above ground of the nether, yeah. So this is I guess where you just you stand here. No, you gotta you gotta Throw something at the pigmen. Dang it. Oh, I know. I have a bow. So you make them mad, and they will all come over here. Hold on. Get out of F3. And they're supposed to go through here and step on this cactus and fall down. I think they have to be pushed off by other pigmen, though. Yeah, so they will go down here, and then the XP like will get pushed up or something. So you can just AFK here, and the XP will get pushed up. It is so overpowered like look how many levels we're getting it's crazy just look at it look at it it's so cute 
Oh, that why it's not cute. Minecraft's not cute. What am I thinking? Oh, that's so weird. But yeah, that's that. As much as I want to stay here and get levels, the show must go on. So down here, oh get my XP, I love you. Down here is the storage area place. It's where all the drops go. It's where all the drops go. So yeah, we got lots of rotten flesh here. I'm just gonna take this home and do gold. Um, I'm actually gonna take this home for village trading. It's gonna be awesome. And I've already got a full inventory. Let's go ahead and leave some inventory spots for gold. Give me gold. Here we go. Gold, rotten flesh. And then yeah, this is just a, an area to burn the gold swords. And oh wow, I can just put some rotten flesh in here. And is there anything in here? No. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, I did that. <laughs> MLG. Woo. Okay, is there anything else? No. All right, so we're just gonna take all this rotten flesh home, and we're gonna start villager trading. Uh, but yeah, this is crazy. Just how overpowered this place is. It's just amazing. So crazy. All right, just look at all the XP fly up. It just goes up and down. It's pretty freaking sick, dude. Oh, I love this gold farm. It's built by uh, Jaharli MVP that I helped a little bit. So, yeah. Give me that XP. Oh, wow. That's a lot. That is crazy. Wow. I'm going to AFK here and play some Xbox. Yeah, I still play Xbox, not PlayStation. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys where we're going to trade with some villagers. It's going to be freaking awesome. Actually, no, hold on. I need to show you the slime box right here. Woohoo! And XP. There's XP down here. <laughs> Broke my legs. Haha. <laughs> Alright, meet you guys back at the villager trading place. Alright, guys, so. Uh, let's do some villager trading. We're gonna pull up here with redstone blocks because it was the first block I saw in one of my chests. And let's see if we can get this cleric here. Alright, so I'm gonna speed this up. Uh, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna time lapse this villager trading so let's see how many vi villager emeralds we get at the end. Alright guys, so the villagers trade kind of maxed out, so we're left with 59 emeralds, 25 gold, and a bunch of rotten flesh, and screw off, okay. So I need to put all this back into our collection of rotten flesh, and I gotta hurry because my hamster just awoke, and you're probably gonna hear her wheel in the background, and yep, there she goes. <laughs> she is so adorable, if you can see her right now. Sorry about the squeaking though. Um... But yeah, 59 emeralds. But you guys know what this means. Infinite rotten flesh from the gold farm equals infinite emeralds. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, we just need more clerics, which is the problem. So I'll see what I can do about that off camera. Snuggles, please. Can you just... Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, my challenge for you guys next episode is to go to the gold farm, get like a bunch of levels, like a number that would be so crazy, it'd blow you guys away, and then we'll do a time lapse of just non-stop enchanting books. That would be pretty cool. That's my challenge for you guys next er, episode. That's my personal challenge.
But thank you guys so much for watching. I am, of course, in my ugly Steve skin because I still haven't fixed that. Oh, just listen to that hamster. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know. Um, I'll see you when I'm editing. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.